Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim, and this channel is pretty much a lot of everything. <laughs> um, so today's video is going to be a little bit different than anything I've done on my channel before, I think. I'm going to take you back to when I was a child, um, because this is when this all started. So, uh... My mom was a teen mom, so we lived with my grandparents um, in this house that I still love to this day. They no longer live there, and the people that live there now trash the place, and I'm really upset by it. Um, so, anyways, uh, and in this house, um, I had a paranormal experience, and I was very, very young because I'm pretty sure my mom and I moved out on our own when I was three maybe four. So long story short about the situation, before my grandma and grandpa moved into this house, a little boy drowned across the street. Now I didn't know that, my mom didn't know that, my grandparents didn't know that until someone brought it up because I guess I would lay in bed at night and yell at this little boy to go to sleep because it was bedtime and I didn't want to play. I wish my mom was here to tell this story better because she literally lived through it. I mean, I did too, but I was too young to remember, so. But she said that I used to talk to this little boy all the time and she thought it was just an imaginary friend until she found out that the little boy drowned across the street. And then, I said something about the little boy that lives across the street and at that time there was no little boy across the street it was an old married couple that lived across the street so um, that was my very first ghost encounter um, I know it's really common for like younger kids to encounter ghosts because they have more of an open mind I didn't lose that lucky for me um, it kind of runs in my family my grandma was clairvoyant too um, she was all about spirits and all about ghosts and um, just all kinds of stuff like that. Um, actually, <laughs> when I got into crystals, I actually found out that my grandma had some and my grandpa gave them to me. So she was more into the whole spirit thing than she let on, which I guess is cool. But I really wish she would have shared it with me because that would have been really fun because I don't have anyone to share that with now because she's gone. Something has been following pre me pretty much my entire life. I'm pretty sure it's not the little boy that I used to talk to when I was younger. Um, it doesn't feel right. I don't know how to explain it. It just doesn't... Nothing has ever happened that was bad. Knock on wood. But... It just doesn't feel like a good entity. It's just the vibe that it gives off just doesn't feel right. So, the first time I noticed was, I want to say I was about nine, and I used to hate taking showers and taking, like, any kind of bath, because I was at that age now to where my mom wouldn't come with me, and our shower was upstairs, and during the time when I was supposed to be taking a shower was before bed and everybody else was downstairs in the living room. I would pretend to take a shower, turn the water on, and sit with my back against the wall because I was too afraid that something was going to get me while I was in the shower. And that's like the first um, actual memory I have of like feeling like something was there, feeling like something is watching me. As the years have gone on, it has gotten worse. Anyways, I remember I went to my ex-boyfriend's house. Uh, we were together for two years, and he used to always tell me that he felt like something was in his room. And I vividly remember waking up in the middle of the night, and he wouldn't be in his room, and I would get so creeped out that I would book it down the stairs and sleep on the couch because I was just that something was there. I could feel it. 
it's just it makes the hairs on the back of your neck stand up you feel like someone's watching you and then he describes what he saw to me and I instantly got so many chills because we had sat down and talked about it because I told him if you're going to leave your bedroom, you know, can you wake me up so that I can get out too? Because I don't like sitting up here by myself. It doesn't, I don't, something's wrong. I don't like it up here. And then he started telling me about what he had seen in his room. And it's the exact same thing that I have been seeing. And I instantly got so many goosebumps. It was awful. But I wasn't crazy. Because he was seeing it too. So it wasn't just, and I had never said anything to him about it. So, I mean, <laughs> um, but it's followed me since then. Uh, my husband <laughs> never believed me. He always thought that I was, you know, crazy, ooh, ghosts. Um, but I just, all right, here's where the story gets juicy. When I had my daughter, everything got so bad. Like, things started happening that I couldn't explain, started happening more often, it started getting scarier because it was more um, present, I guess you could say. I can vividly remember this dream that I had. And I remember it because it was the scariest thing that I have ever experienced in my entire life. <sighs> my daughter had colic, so she slept in her swing for the first couple months of her life because she had a, a colic is basically when they have stomach pains and there's nothing you can do for them. They're too small to have Tylenol, so they just kind of have to deal with it but um, her swing always helped her stomach, so I let her sleep in that. I know, call me a bad mom, whatever. I don't care. That's just what worked for us. Anyway, she slept in this swing for the first couple months of her life, and the first week that we brought her home, I had the swing next to my bed. I mean... It was I could get up out of my bed and put my feet on the floor and stand up and walk back and forth but her uh, swing was like really close to my side of the bed so I just had like a little walk space and I had woken up when my husband got up to go to work and I didn't remember falling back to sleep like I couldn't I like there was no recollection there it was like I woke up and started to do stuff but I was actually sleeping like, I had woken up and then fallen back asleep, but I didn't know. So, in this dream, I'm laying in my bed, just, you know, relaxing after I had just woken up. And I go to sit up, and Layla's swing is at the foot of, oh my god, I'm getting, like, chills and, like, my eyes are watering. Layla's swing was at the foot of my bed. And she was floating in mid-air next to me, like someone was sitting on the bed next to me, holding her. Sorry, it just really freaks me out. Like, even to still think about it, it really freaks me out. Um, I woke up so fast, it wasn't even funny, and I grabbed my blanket and booked it into Layla's room, put her in her crib, and slept on the couch because I didn't want to be in there. I always felt something was wrong in that bedroom. I never wanted to be in there by myself, and it wasn't just me being paranoid and me being scared of being by myself. I've had my own room my entire life, and I have been fine. There's nothing for me to be afraid of. But there's just something in me that says you don't want to be in here by yourself. Since that day, I would wake up every morning when my husband got up for work and go onto the living room couch and sleep with all the curtains open. That's the only way I felt comfortable. One night, 
I went back to sleep after feeding Layla and I had a dream that someone was holding her and she was floating in midair again. Except this time in my dream, my in-laws were at my house and I like had put Layla in her room because I didn't want her in my room because something was just wrong in my room. So they come over and I have, I, I had a baby monitor for Layla that had a video camera on it. So like I could watch her and hear her in her room and I could talk to her when I pushed a button. It was real fancy. I got it as a baby shower gift from one of my aunts. In this video camera, on my screen, I see Layla floating in midair and we all run to her bedroom and grab her and we try to get her out of the house and whatever was in the house would not let her leave. It kept stopping us any way it could. And I just remember being so scared that something was going to happen to her. And like for months after that, I was always terrified to look at the screen when I was home by myself or at night in the middle of the night. I was afraid to look at the screen because I literally thought that that was going to happen in real life. It was just really crazy. There have been a lot of other instances that I've had, but I'm going to save them for another video because this is already 14 minutes long. Um, but I am going to end it with this. My husband, who did not believe me for four years that something was wrong, finally had an experience himself. And we were in the process of moving out. I would not go back in the house. I had everything I needed out of that house. I didn't need anything else. Most of the stuff that was still in the house was just like random things that were like his. And I told him I wasn't going in the house. Well, he went in the house, turned on the lights, and the lights started flickering. And Layla's bedroom door slammed shut. He ran out of there and told me, he was like, I think you might have been right. I think there's something in there. And I was like, why? You know, what happened? And he told me, and I was like, see, I told you, I'm not going back in there. And then the place that we moved to, we were both sitting in the living room, and there's a basement in the house that we just moved from. Here's the living room. Here's the hallway. Here's our bedroom door, and here's the basement door. We were sitting in the living room, and all of a sudden, we hear the basement door start rattling. We both looked at each other and we got up, opened the basement door, went downstairs. Nothing was there. There's no explanation on why the door was rattling. So whatever it was followed us, followed me because I didn't have anything from when I was younger that I brought with me. So it couldn't have been attached to something else. It was attached to me. So far here, only very minor things have been happening, but it's a new place. I have two stories that are good paranormal stories. Um, people that passed away that have come to visit me since they've passed. So um, I'll have to get permission for one of them because it's actually my best friend's mom. And I don't want to upset her at all. So, yeah, just let me know if you want to see that down below. I hope that you guys enjoyed these stories. I know I kind of ramble all over the place, but I have a hard time staying on track. Um, I'm not going to say that I have ADHD because I don't think I do, um, but I do have, like, a really hard time focusing. My mind is all over the place. But um, anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. I'm going to try to post this Thursday night or Friday. So you guys will be seeing this Thursday night or Friday. If you guys have any requests or anything, just leave them down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And I will be answering comments down below if you want to leave a comment um, or a question. Also, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.